<sighs> okay folks, Andy here and welcome back into the boat shed just to uh, bring you up to date with what we're going on here so as you can see I'm afraid it's a bit dark in here we have got to do something with the lighting in here it's useless like so as you can see we're getting a side on it's progressing a bit isn't it so what I'm going to be doing is all I'm doing is coming along from that end from datum line and uh, I'm just pulling all this forward to get it in line on top of this edge here on inside at gunnel right and I, I'm just tacking it on as I go so I'm just going to carry on with that and when that's on we're gonna get, we'll get some angle iron all the way down the top of it so that'll take all the flex out of this plate then and uh, you know, we'll be up, up to here and we'll have a look what it's like we've got a bit of manipulation here because this comes round so we'll see what we end up with anyway let's get on with it That's what we like on the inside now. So I've come along up to here and then the plate was lifting there so it's pulled to the outside edge and I've put a big clamp on it to so pull it down so we get a less of a gap at the bottom. So I'm going to get that all the way along there now. I have to pull that plate down. So I'll stitch it on as I go along. There are only tacks because we probably have to, uh, you know, work the plate a little, little uh, one way or the other at the bottom to get it nice and in line, you know. So we'll get on with that. Right, we've got it worked along to here, tacked to here now. It's nice and flush. So this last bit here, but this, the rise up here, we're going to get a little bit of a radius on that, so it just goes over that little rise, so I'm going to get that ground out now. sit down to there I'm going to pull that top over now a little bit and that should be in place more or less we'll tack angles on the inside and we'll straighten it up to the angles all the way down once they're tacked on so there will be a little bit of tweaking just to get it nice and flat like a billiard table all the way down right folks that's the first side basically tacked on so from the outside we wander down there's lots of snot still on from where I've had the brackets and the lever touched on to uh, I'll pull the plate in I hope you can see that alright, it's dark in there I know that and there we have that's tacked on, that pole lift can come off now. Go on around this side and have a look internally. There we are. Don't look too bad for straightness at the moment. But next thing is to get angle irons stitched on down that, that side, above and below the window. 
and then we'll have verticals uh, up and down either side of the windows and that will stiffen it all up then so it will be nice and flat so that's the next job is to I want to get this, that side marked out right. I hope you're enjoying building this along with me and if you are why don't you like and subscribe follow my best at journey alright hello folks uh, just skip forward about three weeks since I started putting that side on so just come down to um, get a bit of an update on boat so you can see there's a bit difference both sides are on and lids on top so we'll just have a look at that so looking down what's that starboard side and front it's all nicely curved So we'll have a wander down here and we can have a look in front back then. So, big sets up there and uh, welding all these seams along the top. These haven't been touched yet on sides, they're only stitched on. Here we are at Tars End. On the inside there, that channel on top, that's the 10 fish channel, long one down the middle. Just keeps the, uh, keeps the lid all uh, flat. And you can see the box section on the roof there, on the side of the roof. And you can see there at the bottom and the top there the long angle irons that are going down the length of both sides and when we cut out for the windows when we actually decide where they're going there'll be vertical angles each side as well so each window will be framed top and bottom roughly two inch um, around it two inch away from the cut out of the window so the timbers and what have you can all be attached to that <coughs> so she's looking like a boat now isn't she we haven't got anything else in this engine bay yet there's the engine mount there's a stove which I've just lit because it's cold this morning, beginning of October. First weekend in October and it's cold. So, being busy with some other things, we've got a door here. Duck hatch. This is for Pete on the, the marina where I am. He's doing a boat up a springer. And uh, there's no side hatch, so he wanted a side hatch smacking. So I'm just knocking him that up. We'll be fitting that next week. We'll photograph that on his springer. So that's where we're at at the moment with this boat. But uh, by next week, end of the week, that'll all be on welded up. All seams done, and it can all be dressed up then. All seams, and uh, we'll be sort of ready to start having a look at the engine we'll get the engine lifted up and in so that's it for now folks anyway i hope you're enjoying the vlogs and if you are follow the rest of the journey and all you have to do is like and subscribe if you wish all right ta